Okay, this is the multi-power battery pack from, I think it's Miki. Um, there's been some positive feedback on this, which is why I picked it up. But I just want to show you what you get um, and give it, give it a test run. So let's open her up. Okay, you got a couple of batteries. These obviously aren't going to be anywhere near as good as the Canon ones. But for the price, you can't really go wrong. Got a free charger. Uh, ah, that looks like it's the battery bank. An adapter. The actual unit itself. Some instructions. Some of those tiny little batteries. Um, and the free remote. This is the wireless remote. Um, these are infrared, by the way, so it's line of sight, which isn't exactly great, but at the same time, it does does work for um, standing to the side of the uh, camera, but not always great for being in the pictures. Uh, so that's what we've got. Let's open her up and see what happens. Okay, well, the first thing is, you got two different types of uh, bays for your batteries. This one's obviously for your uh, double A's. Um, so you can use your traditional AA batteries. Um, this one's got, for the, the Canon type batteries, it obviously takes two. But as I said, these batteries aren't as good as the Canon ones, but it's up to you whether you use them or throw them away and get a couple of Canon ones because they'll last longer. Um, but let's, let's put it together. Yeah, it goes together really easy. Um, basically, you just drop the unit straight in here. And then just push that up. And that's it ready to go. And we'll just flick him on. And whoop. As you can see, that's it. All up and running. There's some extra features here as well. I think it's got a time lapse on there and some other bits and pieces um, that obviously link up to the camera. Um, we'll try that next. Okay, so we've now got our uh, camera ready and our grip. Uh, with our extra batteries. And I'll just show you how to fit this. It's not complicated. It might be with only one spare hand. Um, but what you want to do is take out your original battery. Just flick, drag that out. Um, this door is actually going to be in the way, but just be gentle and pull it towards yourself. And it will come off. It's easy as that. It's not going. Whoop! It's not going to break anything. I might do if I drop the camera, man. Um, and then all you do is drop this straight in, uh, which goes in like this. And then you see you get your thumb lock there. Just line it up and slowly tighten it up. And it should tighten up quite easily. The other thing is, you'll know if you've got your thumb lock, you know you're on the right way round because it only fits one way. There we go, that's dropped in now. So that's it. Don't don't go crazy with it. Don't over tighten it. And that's it fitted. Um, there's a few extra cool features on here. Obviously, you've got all your controls that you normally have on your camera up here. Um, there's your zoom and everything else. I mean, it's all duplicated. You can, I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Um, you've also got a night light here. If it's going to do it, uh, hang on, let's switch them on. Okay, it's on. And there's a little green. Don't know if it's actually going to show or not. There is actually a green light in there. Uh, it's not doing it at the moment. Or is it? It might be the light because I'm, I'm actually in the conservatory at the moment, so it's not the best room to do this in. Um, but pretty much that's it. As you can see, there's another button here. I assume this is to duplicate here. Um, but the actual camera size has now increased uh, a fair bit. It's a bit heavier, um, which makes it more stable. Um, it works. Well, let's just do it. Just prove it's actually connected up and working. 
switch it on. There you go. That's it. I wasn't expecting to actually do one on how it connected up, but there you go. Thanks for watching.